Hello, wrestling fans. This is Sal Rough Cuts Lasardo with this edition of Rough Cuts. It's time for Payback. And this Sunday, live on the WWE Network, uh, right at, a week after SummerSlam, we are going right into another pay per view with Payback. So I'm here to preview Payback for all of you. Last week for SummerSlam, I think I only got two matches correct. Two. But one of them was Osaka getting. Uh, the belt off of Bailey, and I picked one other match. Ouch. So I'm hoping this week I'll have a better, do better uh, overall picking, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to preview uh, payback. I need some payback after last week's predictions. Again, guys, these are my predictions, my predictions only. They have nothing to do with the laughter, onewrestling.com, or the WWE. So let's get right to what we know as of Friday evening. Again, the cart is subject to change up until bell time. We have Big E versus Sheamus. The question going into this is, who needs this win more? Does Big E need it now going in the singles route, or does Sheamus need it more? And, that, and that's going to be the, the question. Like, Who really needs to establish further? I know the fans are going to say they're going to want, well, Big E you know, to take that step and all. And Sheamus may be winding down. But, you know, I, I think Sheamus is just more on a roll right now, to be honest with you. And I think just a big win over Big E could take a step up the ladder, per se. Uh, I would like to maybe see Sheamus maybe take on Matt Hardy for the Intercontinental title. That there are possibilities here. I, I just am going to go out and I'm going to say that Sheamus will find a way to get the one two. Three, victory over Big E. Next up, we have the Intercontinental Championship. AJ Styles was not cleared on Friday, and then ultimately Matt Hardy took on Mr. Nakamura and lost, and now AJ and Hardy are going to do battle on Sunday at Payback. AJ looking for, for Payback. I don't think this is going to be the payoff here, I think. With Sami Zayn back and Sami Zayn not officially officially losing the title in the first place. That's where I could see Matt and, and Sammy going. I don't think AJ's getting the belt uh, right now. I don't I don't see it uh, on the cards, period. I think AJ will be there to get things going and, and have his uh, matches and get guys over and work with the veterans. I don't I don't see a title run coming back. Any, anytime soon. I, I really don't. I think AJ's honestly just winding things down. So um, the payoff would be Matt would be uh, Jeff Hardy against against Sami Zayn. And Sami never really lost it in the first place. So that would be the ultimate payoff. So I expect Jeff Hardy will hit the swan song and get AJ one, two, three. I don't know if I don't know if Sammy's gonna interfere in this. I, I think we'll have a good clean match. When the match is over we may see Sammy come out and do his thing, and I think that would would be the make make the most sense when it's over. But the match itself, I, I Jeff will will get the one two three, and we'll see what happens with AJ after it. AJ's not officially retired yet, but he is getting there. Moving forward, we have King Corbin against Matt Riddle. Um, I thought this was going to happen at SummerSlam. It did not. Now it's going to happen at Payback. Obviously, there were guys on. Uh, that would look that did not wrestle at SummerSlam as WD would try to keep it within a reasonable time frame, uh, considering the circumstances. So, um, Matt Riddle's getting over a little bit. King Corbin kind of wonder what Corbin is, is doing right now. It's an intriguing match from both perspectives to see which way you're going to go with this. Uh, I, 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 I'm going to go with Corbin. Corbin is still the king, per se, self processed. I'm going to say King Corbin's going to get the victory over Matt Riddle. I think it'll be a very good match. I think it'll be some back and forth, some seesawing. But I still think finding a way that Corbin will use some sort of underhanded tactic and get uh, Matt, into, uh, Matt Riddle in a compromised position for the 1-2-3. The Mysterios are going to team up against uh, against Rollins and Murphy. Rollins and Murphy, uh, Rollins is already up 2-0. Well. He already beat Dominic, already at SummerSlam, and then he beat... And he beat Ray at the eye for eye match as well, so it's two zero. Seth Rollins over the over the Mysterio family. I think the 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 key odd situation, the oddball here is if someone's going to get pinned, it's not going to be Seth Rollins. It would be Buddy Murphy. So that's what I'm expecting. 
I'm expecting that Rey Mysterio will hit the 619. Dominic will come in and finish off Buddy Murphy while Ray takes out Rollins and they get the one, two, three. I can see see the getting, you know, to a two one perspective between. So I'm gonna say uh, that Buddy Murphy will be the one that takes the pinfall, and that it'll be Dominic Mysterio that will ultimately get the pin one, two, three, but Ray will have will have to say in the outcome me taking out Rollins or preventing Seth Rollins from saving Buddy Murphy. It'd be interesting to see if, if maybe Seth Rollins is upset and what happens with Buddy, but uh, for the match itself, I, I, Buddy Murphy seems to be the odd man out here, and I expect Buddy Murphy to get pinned, and I will say Dominic Mysterio will get the pinfall. Dominic looked very good. If you didn't see the summit so much with Dominic against Seth, Dominic really looked very, very sharp in that match. He really did. In a, in a, in a loss, he is taking his lump. He is paying his dues, continuing to do so. I like what they're doing and how they're moving along. They gave him Seth Rollins, and Rollins is doing everything being asked of him. So it is playing out very nicely. Interesting to see where the story goes from here afterwards. But for payback, I think we will get payback. The Mysterios will be Rollins and Murphy with Murphy taking the pay. Moving on, we have Randy Orton and Keith Lee. Keith Lee has now moved up to the main roster. And now he gets the legend killer, Randy Orton, who just lost to Drew McIntyre over at SummerSlam, which I thought Randy was going to get the belt and run with it until Edge came back, so I was wrong. Um, it can go either way here, honestly. It can. But honestly, I know Keith Lee has been a champion. He's had so much success, but I can't see Randy Orton lose two pay-per-views in a row. I, I, I can't see it, especially with Randy doing what he's doing at this stage. I, I can't see how... Randy is going to get defeated. I believe Randy will get payback and want to get another match with Drew. So that would be payback for Randy. And is it a good thing to say, well, that Keith Lee, after being champion in NXT, well, I mean, Keith Lee is just coming up to the main roster. I mean, he's got to go through the roster a little bit and, and what have you. There's nothing's given. And I expect Randy will hit the RKO. And Randy will take the one, two, three and look for Drew for another match, maybe at Hell in a Cell. And Keith Lee is on the main roster. He's not going anywhere, but he's gonna look good. They're gonna he's gonna be protected on a loss from a storyline perspective. It's just that you can't expect Randy to come out and lose two weeks, two two pay per views in a row like this. I he's still very high up on the ladder and there really isn't a true challenger really to go after Drew just yet that has emerged except for Randy so I I expect Randy will get payback and then look for Drew possibly at hell in the cell so Randy's going to hit the RKO and walk out with the victory we have moving on the United States Championship against Apollo Crews had retained against MVP against Bobby Lashley now does Bobby Lashley get the belt I thought MVP would get it at SummerSlam and that didn't play out too well so does Bobby Lashley get it this time? Maybe with the help of Shelton Benjamin and uh, MVP, does he get? Does Bobby get help here? I, I, I was wrong before. Maybe he won it. I, I'm going to say that Bobby's going to take the title. I'm going to say Bobby's going to take the title as payback for MVP losing. The reason I, I feel this way is Bobby Lashley needs gold around his waist. Bobby Lashley is a former world champion. And where do you go with Bobby Lashley if Bobby Lashley loses? You've got a, an incredible big man monster. Where do you go with Bobby Lashley if Bobby Lashley loses this man? What, what do you do for him? What, what, where does he go? What, what, what do you do? Where, where is there a fit for him? He's got to take the title. Has to. Has to. MVP didn't get it. Then Bobby Lashley needs to take the title. Because where, where does he go? He's not leaving. All right? He's signed. So what are you going to do with Lashley? Just have him come out there and, and knock people around? No. Bobby Lashley needs to needs, needs gold around his way. So I would be shocked if he loses this and doesn't take the title. And if he does, I, where does he go? I, you can't, can't justify this loss from a story perspective when you have a legitimate big man who's a former world champion and he has no gold around his way. It makes no sense. So Bobby Lashley will 
take Apollo Cruz's title. I'm going to predict that this time Apollo Cruz loses the belt. The women's tag team championships on the line. Bailey and Sasha against Nia Jackson Basel. I went on Twitter about this. I've been asked about this. What do you think of the alliance between Nia Jax and Basler? Where do you, what do you think goes with this? Well, can Nia and Shauna work together without killing each other and take the titles off Bailey and Sasha? Remember, Sasha lost to Osaka, which is the only one of the two matches I could pick correctly from SummerSlam. What, what do you do here? I'm asking all of you. I'm sure you comment on it. If they lose the title, I, I said that Nia Jax and China Basler are going to take the titles from Bailey and Sasha. That was what I said on, on Twitter. I think they're going to work together and they're going to get the belt. Does this mean that we finally get the feud between the two, between Bailey and Sasha? Because I said that they were going to lose their payback. I did say my SummerSlam predictions last week. I said they were going to lose the tag titles and that we were going to see the falling out. Because now Sasha doesn't have any gold. She already lost the the title to Asaka, and now they lose the tag team titles, and you gotta think that something's gonna set Sasha off. Bailey's the only one with gold. Well, I'm the boss, I'm the legit boss, I got no title. What about me? That's gotta be the fuse that sets this thing off and puts this thing in motion. If this doesn't, I don't know what does. Who takes the pinfall? I'm I'm gonna say that Bailey's gonna get pinned. Bailey is going to get pinned, lose the title. Sasha's going to be very upset, and Sasha's going to turn on Bailey. And that's going to be it. You will have new women's tag team champions, Nia Jax and Shana Basler. Basler needs gold. Basler, she needs gold. Okay? If she's not in line for Bailey's title and she's not in line for Osaka's title, she needs to have gold. Is Nia Jax the perfect partner? Well, that's going to be debatable. I would have liked to maybe seen her with Tamina or, you know, maybe Naomi would be a good fit for her. Maybe even Lacey Evans would have been a nice fit. But we got Nia Jax. Fine. They can hold the goal together. They can hold the women's tag team titles for a while until maybe they separate. This has got to serve two purposes. One, we, you're, you're elevating Shauna now because, you know, tell, showing her that she is a true badass and she's got gold around her waist. And this has also got to bring Bailey and Sasha now into the forefront. And I think this is the only way to do it, finally. It has to be the only way. If, if, if they walk out with the titles, what else is there to be possibly... That's going to get them two to go against each other. It's already been in the works that they were going to work together against each other. So Bailey has the women's title, but Sasha has nothing now. So that jealousy and that rage and this and that, got to set, got to set Sasha off. Got to. It has to. And Bailey's going to try to play peacemaker. Oh, no, 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 no. Not going to work. And inevitably, it's going to be a clash between the two. So that's where we're headed. So we're going to have new... Women's Tag Team Champions with Nia and Shana and the falling out between Bailey and Sasha. I believe this will be it. If it isn't, I have no idea what it could possibly happen. So that's what I'm going to I'm going to go out and say. We have one more match. Bray Wyatt, Braun Strowman, and Roman Reigns. No holds barred. Well, if you miss SummerSlam and you miss SmackDown, you miss the fact that Roman Reigns is back. The big dog is back. He's going to wreck everyone and leave. And if you watch SmackDown tonight, then you found out something else. Roman Reigns has a new manager. Guess who his manager is? He's now a Paul Heyman guy, and you can believe it. Yes, believe it. It's true. Paul Heyman will be in the corner for Roman Reigns, and Roman Reigns is now officially a heel. And he's going to get his title back and that he never lost, that he surrendered for the epidemic. So Paul Heyman's going to manage Roman Reigns, and Paul Heyman is going to have managing another world champion. I like the fit for Roman. People are not in tune with Roman as a babyface. It's been like this for years and years and years. 
you you love the person behind of what he's been through, but in front of the camera, the fans are not going to get behind Roman Reigns. If that has not happened, it will not happen. So what do you do? You turn him heel. And who? what better way to turn him heel than to have the man, the guy, the greatest mind in all of wrestling, Paul Heyman. Paul Heyman is there in a no hold far match, and Paul Heyman and company and Roman are going to take that universal title. Bray Wyatt got a real bad shaft on us. I'm going to tell you right now, fans on record, you will have to agree with me. Bray Wyatt got the worst end of this that you could possibly imagine. And the fact is that he lost the title to Goldberg, comes back and works hard. They involve him in a storyline with Braun and Alexa, which Alexa is nowhere to be seen now with this. I don't wonder if it's been completely abandoned, which I think it's wrong. Only to get the title from Braun, only to now he's going to probably lose it back on Sunday. Why? Because you need Roman Reigns, the big dog, on major network television. And you now have him as a heel with Paul Heyman. And that's going to generate ratings. And that's what Vince's mindset is. And this is the only way it has to be. It is basically wrong on Bray. And I know he's not going to say anything. He's a company guy. But Roman Reigns was destined for the title to begin with. It just now was better off with him being a heel as opposed to being a face. Where does this leave Brock Lesnar? Does Brock Lesnar then come back at some point? And is he going to be a baby face? I don't know if the fans are going to get behind Brock Lesnar either. But I don't see how Paul Heyman's going to manage both of them. And I don't see Paul Heyman's going to turn on Roman to set up Brock to get the title that he was using Roman all along, so Brock Lesnar can come back and get it. I I, I just don't think the fan, I don't think the fans will buy into it. It's a possibility. I think it's a real possibility that that's what could happen is that Paul Heyman is using Roman Reigns to get the title, so he can then throw Reigns to Brock. It is a very realistic possibility. It's not going to happen now. It may not happen for a year from now. But we'll see how this plays out. I could also say, and I said it on Twitter earlier, is I could see Roman Reigns being the leader of Retribution with Paul Heyman and having a few cast-offs join in and they have their own facet. That's another possibility that can happen. So there are different outcomes uh, that could happen as a result of Paul Heyman being with Roman. But in the immediate future, in the forefront, it's going to be that, yes, Roman's going to be a heel. He would be better off being a heel. And Paul Heyman's going to manage him. And we're going to see how the ratings are and how much rating interest it generates, especially after Roman wins the title on Sunday at Payback. I don't think there's any doubt in my mind in a no-holds-barred match that Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns are not walking out that title. I just feel bad for Bray because Bray has worked really hard to develop this Fiend character. I feel bad for it. I feel bad that they were abandoned the whole thing with Alexa Bliss. And what happens to Braun Strowman as well? Because now Braun Strowman's going to be left out in the dark as well. So now what happens with that? There's a lot of questions that are going to come out of this main event. And only the next couple of weeks and so going down the road are we going to see what will all happen. But I don't think Roman Reigns is going to lose the title anytime soon. Once Roman has that belt, you could forget it. It's going to be a long time, boys and girls, before... Roman drops that belt. Bray is not getting it back immediately. Neither is Braun. Braun was not scheduled to get the belt, period. It will be interesting to see where Braun goes. It'll be interesting to see what they do with Bray. Bray's not going anywhere. Does he get darker? Does he maybe go after Jeff Hardy? Maybe the Intercontinental, maybe the Intercontinental title is on the horizon. There are possibilities. Maybe the tag titles. Maybe, maybe Braun and him team up. And Alexa Bliss joins the Sisto Abigail motion. There are possibilities with us. And that's something that we have to just wait and see. So Roman Reigns will get the belt. With that being said, tune in Sunday to the WWE Network. Payback hey will be live. And it's it's going to be good. We're, if you want to see the crowning of Roman Reigns, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the women's tag team title match. I am really looking forward to that. I just want to see what's going to happen there. 
Randy Orton and Keith Lee should be a good match. I don't think it'll be bad. Keith Lee is a champion in himself. You can't go wrong there. Randy Orton and Keith Lee, you can't, you can't go wrong. AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy, can't go wrong there. I still say Jeff is going to retain and that'll lead into Sammy. So it's got, it's got potential to do well and probably be even just as good or above average uh, compared to what SummerSlam was. So with that being said, for this edition of Rough Cuts, this has been Sal Rough Cuts Lasada reporting in from Orlando, Florida. May all your matches be a main event and enjoy payback this Sunday live on the WWE Network. Have a good night, everybody.